I wanted to show a real quick video on how I merge PRs on GitHub because it's not something lots of people show and everyone has different workflows. So here's what I do uh, for something like this software that I maintain on GitHub. It's a cube control plugin. It distributes a binary and people add pull requests. And so someone added a pull request here that added a uh, progress bar, which is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, it's great. Uh, I want to see that on there. It was something that I had on my to-do list and just never got around to, and they added it for me. So I had a conversation here with them about, hey, let's make sure that we have all the files updated, everything's there, and now it's actually time. Like I need to test this and verify that everything works as expected. I use a git command from uh, the git extras. Uh, on GitHub, it's, uh, it's a collection of a whole bunch of Git plugins that people can use, and they have a whole list of all of the commands available within this repo. So most distributions, brew, uh, whatever it is you're trying to use to manage packages, will have a git-extras package. And it'll install all of these extra commands, uh, which are just make things easier uh, to do things. You can use the GitHub command line, you can use all different things, you can use raw gits, um, but this is what I've been using for years and I really like it. So when I switch over to my terminal, I'm on the main branch right now, uh, no changes uh, here from what's in main, and so I'm going to just do git pr with the pr number from my remote, and I can look here, it is number 12. So I can see I have number 12 as my PR, and I can do that here. If you have multiple remotes, you can also specify which remote you want it to come from. So if you have a fork and you say I need it to come from the fork or from the upstream, whatever it is, uh, you can also specify where the PR exists and Git PR will do the right thing for you, and it's great. So not only does this, tra this check out the correct pull request, but it also sets up tracking. So if they push new changes to that branch, you automatically get them with just a git pull. I don't have to remember how to rebase or, or, or do anything else to retrack it. Git PR does the right thing. I also already have some um, automation in here to create the binary for me based on the current code. So I can just uh, run make, actually make DDS will make the new binary for me. And this goes through an entire uh, Go release process, which is just how I've set up this uh, repo, um, which will build the binary for me locally without publishing anything. So um, I'll wait for make to, to build the binary and then I can locally test it. Uh, it may also be important to note that uh, I do have uh, DDS already installed through crew, like the actual release of it. And I don't need to override that by checking it out locally. So if I look at It's installed here in my crew uh, folder already. So I can take that folder and, and I don't need to touch it. I don't need to interfere with my existing release. And if I ran a cube control DDS, I will still get the official release binary because sometimes there's just a problem that I need to test a binary or something. I need it in my path. I need to do something with it. And then you clobber the rest of your system to be able to do anything else, which is really unfortunate. Okay, so build took 57 seconds and uh, go release puts it in the dist folder. Control. And that's the, that's the binary that comes out. So I can run it. The feature they added was this progress feature. So let's test it out. And this should run exactly like everything else. There's the progress bar. Awesome. I have six namespaces. It's going to show, hey, we're scanning all of these namespaces and gives me a little percentage that my, my head's blocking right now. Um, can I? I can't, I can't move it up <laughs> without moving my head. Um, so we'll wait for that for just a second. Make sure that it functions as we expected. We already read the code. Like I said, we already verified that this should do what we think it does. And, and they even added uh, screenshots for it. So I actually had to change my cluster just a little bit. Uh, when I run uh, the normal DDS, this is again using my, my 
official release binary that's already out there. Uh, I was seeing how long it was taking, and I did see some problems um, actually with the binary itself just because of the, how the cluster was set up. So readjusted some of that uh, just to delete some things for this test case to make sure it worked properly. And and now I can I can run it. I can add the progress flag, and this does give me again that title bar um, that I like to see outputs, and it it does progress as as expected. Uh, the one conflict I was a little worried about to see how this would interfere with a uh, verbose output. And so if I use the progress flag with a verbose of, let's say, six, I will see that the progress bar just kind of gets thrown in uh, with all this um, logging that comes out that's, I'm actually just getting throttled on the API. It's still there. I don't think it's a big issue if someone wants a progress bar and a verbose output. That's about as best we can do. Um, I, I don't think there's a, a benefit of trying to clean that up more. And so with this in place, I've now tested this release just to verify that it works the way it's intended to uh, and, and it has the output in some of these test scenarios um, that I would expect. So I can go back into the PR itself and uh, squash and merge it. Um, I do still need to make a release. And so in this case, this is gonna merge into the master branch. I can wait for that to merge uh, and then get out of my, oops. I, I built it in and actually uh, changed some things. Get check out main. I don't care about any changes that I made on that branch. I can now pull, which will have that new uh, updates. And then I can tag a new release so that everyone else will get this. And uh, all of the automation to do the actual release happens on tags. So when I push them, so if I look at my tags, um, I have a 0.26. So this is uh, not a patch. It's a new flag output. So I'm going to bump it to 0.3. And now at this point, all the automation is going to take place to make a release, push that upstream to crew to make sure that everyone can pull the new uh, 3.0 or, or 0.3 release of the plugin. So that's my workflow. I love uh, Git Extras. I've been using it for a long time. They have a ton of awesome commands, uh, including deleting uh, that new branch that I just made locally. So uh, give it a try.